carbon or too much of this. All right, so the take home, the, carbon, the, the bicarbonate buffer system is responsible for maintaining the pH of your blood and your body fluids at 7.4. There's other ones, there's the phosphate buffering system, but by far and away, this is the most applicable. This is the most important one for maintaining that. And it's in your red blood cells, in your circulatory system. Okay, the last little part of this, I don't have my phone, so the clock is wrong. Someone tell me what time it is, 44. 44, okay, six minutes, so we'll finish this and we'll, we'll start in the park. Organic molecules are the ones we've talked about, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen. Carbon is essential for life. Everything that makes up you, makes up animals, plants, living structures, um, and things on our earth are made of carbon. Remember, I gave you the mnemonic, I wrote it here. Honk, one, two, three, four. Like honk, honk, one, two, three, four. Okay, that means how many bonds each of those elements can participate in, right? One, two, three, four, the number of bonds each can form. Carbon actually is really important because it can form branches, it can make long chains, it can branch, it can have double bonds or single bonds. And when we talk about double bonds versus single bonds, it can actually change the, the properties and the structure of different things. We'll talk about unsaturated and saturated fats, sort of the good fats and the bad fats. So that gets into all kinds of implications for nutrition and health. That's a triglyceride, three fatty acids on a fat. It makes rings, so aromatic structures like benzene, cyclohexane, those are made out of carbon. They're this ring or atom aromatic. They kind of aerosolize chemicals. There's also isomers that are basically carbon-based structures. They have the same chemical formula, the same number of atoms of each type, but they have different shapes, okay? So instead of a straight chain, this one's branch. Instead of the side group, being on the same side, it's on two different opposite sides. By the way, these are like cis and these are trans isomers. When you have two of distinct groups on the same, it means cis, right? Trans means opposite sides. So this is a type of isomer we're gonna look a lot at these in fats. And we have enantiomers. Have you guys ever learned about L and D chylo compounds or enantiomers? They're basically like mirror images of each other. So it's almost like you have the left and the right hand. My hands, you would say your hands are the same, right? not really the same. They're made of the same constituent parts, but I can't, like looking at them in the same dimension, I can't overlap them. They're different. They're never going to be exactly the same. The only way they look the same is when they're a reflection of each other and the right goes with the left, right? They're a reflection. They're right and left mirrors of each other. There's chemicals that are just like that, that are enantiomers or chiral isomers of each other. There's a lot in the body. And actually, medically speaking, we have a lot of drugs. I think I just popped an ibuprofen yesterday. Ibuprofen. <laughs> My ankle was hurting. I tried to wear cute shoes at the concert. Never doing that again. Never again. I had like osteoarthritis in my right ankle for like three days. So, ibuprofen. The drug version of those that we take are the L-isomer. So it's the only ones that are affected in the body. We can't use the D. Our enzymes don't know how to break down the D. So these have physiological significance for in the body and drugs that we take in the body. l ibuprofen is my example I'm going to give you because I use that one. We've got a lot of different functional groups that are distinct little chemical groups that added onto a chemical will change its effect or its biological functionality. Good examples, and we're going to spend a later part of the class talking a lot about these. And you guys probably know a lot about these already. Estradiol and testosterone. Examples of functional groups are the little methyl group, the CH3 on these, the OH, all the same. Notice the only difference between estrogen or estradiol, the main form of it, and testosterone is that this one has a double bonded oxygen at this position, and this one has a hydroxide or an OH. That's the only difference. But these two have vastly different physiological effects in the body. And we're going to look at some of those effects later. Functional groups, well, I'm sorry, functional groups are all these different things. You don't have to know all these different things. This is chemistry or my bio class. My cell bio, you have cell You know, I just want you to know there's little groups, little differences that tiny little changes in these little side groups or these functional groups change the biological activity for either hormones or various drugs. So the molecules that we're going to talk, and we'll start next time, because I don't want to try to jump in there now. We're finishing. We're going to talk about carbs, carbohydrates, all the different types. Fats, lipids, and the different types. Proteins, nucleic acids, so DNA, RNA, and then essential vitamins and minerals. 
and then so we're going to finish that next week. In the last like couple minutes, does anybody have any questions on what we talked about? Acids, bases, buffers, isomers? Any of those make sense? Do they make sense so far? Yes, question, Alex? Right, in general, yeah, and it can be more acidic than other times. Well, it depends if there's more in the environment, in the water. If there's more hydrogen ions and there's more acidity in that body of water, it gets vaporized, right? It goes up into the clouds in the atmosphere and it's, it has acid. It's basically acid, more acidic. It's coming from the bodies of water of where that moisture is evaporating. Is there more hydrogen? Yeah. Yep, exactly. Yes, exactly. Yeah. More hydrogen ions, more acid. That's the key. That is exactly the key. Perfect. If you can take just a second right on your car, so you can do it later after class. What you got, what clicked, what made sense, what did it? Just keep those. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this every Friday. I'll collect them on Friday. I'll look for you know, all the things that you were going through. And I, and I did touch on a lot of the, the issue sort of concepts that a lot of you had when we did the recap. So hopefully that helped a little bit. Yes? Yeah? Okay. I will check and see if the video is up for a time. I don't even know if it is. I'm going to need like a camera. I'm going to need a camera system. I have to paste it. It's too hard to do that. Have a day, you guys. Okay, I'll see you Wednesday. Thank you. Yeah. All right. All right. What did you say? I'm going to get a camera. Ah! Well, I don't have a lot of money. That's the thing. I'm, I do not have a lot of money, but I can probably figure out some way to do it. It's smart. smart. It doesn't make a big difference. So people freak out all that. I see consistently you freak out. Well, some people do consistently drink a lot of that, and that's the only one you're drinking. It can affect your pH a little bit, but your body works so good at offering your of that for me that it's not going to be a heavy I just I wouldn't do I wouldn't drink a lot. Like a lot of the alcohol. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, like with whatever the buffering system, your buffering system is really good. So even when you eat something that's like tomato, salsa, like we eat in our bodies, it's all good. Oh, are you going to give me? Oh, you keep your card. Yeah, yeah. I'll take it right in. All right. Bye, guys.